Hey, this is Ellie Church, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another unboxing and unbagging for everybody. I actually pre-cut them so they'll make this go along a little easier, but these are my winnings from a fire sale over at Planet VHS Horror on Facebook. And a buddy of mine named Kyle, uh, he's, well, he's one of them that runs fire sales he does on there, like their uh, movies from a dollar to, you know, ten dollars and four dollars shipping no matter how many you get so there's always prices in between there and sometimes they'll be like the rare ones and that so these are the ones that i got um obviously i didn't have any of these but uh there are a lot of them pretty much almost all of them i've never heard of before but like the title of them and like you know maybe there's some there's some action there's some drama uh horror you know i don't remember what's in this one because i know there's another one sale that i won and i don't know I don't remember which is what there's a lot here so I'm gonna get right into it and let's see what I got so in the bag there was these three movies the first one here is the land of far away and uh, what's pretty funny about this one is uh, it's from 1989 but is a young Christian Bale in it I've never seen it but I read it that he's in this and uh, that's that's pretty funny it's from Star Maker uh, I don't know it's funny I like this Star Maker better than the gold one I don't know why but uh, the land of far away that's, I'm looking forward to checking that one out. Now this one is a uh, priceless beauty with Christopher Christopher Lambert and Diane Lane. She's supposed to be a, a genie or something, and uh, she looks pretty good in this. She looks pretty good. Uh, box is a little beat up, but that's okay. Check out the tape. Nice label. Looks pretty good. And then, so there's that one. And then the next one here is a Avid Home Entertainment. And this one. Uh, the cover on this alone, you know, made me want to get it, and this looks this looks really cool. It's Quiet Thunder. No idea what it's about. It obviously is an adventure movie, like an action adventure movie. So I was looking forward to checking out. Just like again, based on the cover alone, it makes you makes you want to see a movie, and the the, the cover could be the best thing about the movie. It could, you know, the movie could really be bad, and the cover is just. The best thing like back when i used to rent movies if i'd see like a a lot of asylum movies maybe i would say like oh, they spent more money on the cover than they did the movie and because the covers were always kind of ugly and digital but yet you kind of wanted to see it because it might be good you never know but uh now digging into the other the box here this sucker is full um okay here we go got this one I didn't actually know the cover was like this that's pretty cool but I got this uh, captured and it's kind of like a, a glossy looking looking cover and uh, that's pretty cool looking tape it's got the red there uh, the words are gone on there but I'm not really worried about that as long as it's the right movie so captured that's pretty cool uh, what's this one here we got Silk Degrees. This one has uh, Mark Hamill in it and everything, but I, I believe this is another like drama or or something. I don't remember. Uh, when he puts them up for sale, he'll say like what type of movie it is. So I don't really remember. But uh, you know, I like I do like dramas, and I as long as and especially if there's like sex in them. <laughs> Just, you know, it's me. Uh, I used to have this. And for some reason, I gave it to my cousin or something. I don't remember why. I think I was just like, eh, whatever. I just want horror. Well, obviously, I got away from not just just wanting horror. But RoboCop. Can't go wrong with RoboCop. Fantastic movie. So I got that one. Keep digging. We got this one. It's sealed yet. And it's uh, Rutger Hauer. And this is Crossworlds. I've seen this cover so many times. I don't even know if I've ever seen it, but Crossworlds, that's pretty cool. All right, I don't know why I'm just like, I'm like, oh, what's in here, like a surprise, but whatever. Uh, this, uh, wow, this back in the day really uh, imp impressed me, the cover and everything on this, and it still kind of does, it's pretty cool. Keanu Reeves and Dolph Lundgren, and that's Johnny Mnemonic. I don't really remember this movie too much, but check that out. That's fantastic. 
I never actually saw an orange label as well. That looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. Look at it right there. It even says on the side. Very cool. And it goes inside there like, you know, the tape comes out. Pretty cool. I, I, that's really cool. Here's another one that was sealed. And I, I, again, I don't remember what it was about or anything, but it's called the Corporate Ladder. It's sealed. Uh, I'm going to keep it sealed until I'm, you know, I want to go watch it. Um, so I'm going to keep it sealed for now, but that's the Corporate Ladder. Then moving on in here, we got, oh yeah, this is another one. This is, I can't wait to check this out because the first one was fucking so bad, so good. Uh, Psycho Cop 2. This, I, I mean, I don't know what this one is like, obviously, because like I said I never watched it, but the first one, oh, it's so bad and so cheesy and so fun. Uh, got a nice label on there. Pretty cool. I always kind of like that. Please rewind tape on here. I don't know why. I know why, but I don't want to explain it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this, um, he, this is actually a replacement for my uh, other tape that I got. Um, my buddy, a buddy of mine sent me this and uh, he didn't know the tape wasn't working right. So I got this one off of Kyle and it's a cut box, a hide go shriek, but I don't need the box. I have the actual tape. Actually, it's, it's back there, the actual, uh, you know, slip, but uh, go hide and go shriek. I know these, like some of these just came out on Blu-ray. Well, not some of them, maybe, I don't know if Psycho Cop 2 did. I know there's a Psycho... Maybe it's... Is it Part 2 or Part 3 that's coming out on Blu-ray? I don't know. But who cares, right? <laughs> who cares? I know a lot of this stuff is out on DVD or Blu-ray. And does, it, does it look like it matters to me? No, it doesn't. Uh, but this one... This is a good movie. I don't care what anybody says. This is a good movie. Deep Blue Sea. I always think of, like, Dave Chappelle when he's doing, like, the Samuel L. Jackson. He's like... It's deep blue sea. A fucking shark ate me. That was a very... I wasn't trying to do an impression. I'm just saying what he said. <laughs> deep blue sea. It's actually a, not too bad of a movie. All shark movies. I mean, there's some badness to them. But, like, that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I, I remember bed, bidding on this. I don't know why. I just thought, why not? I'll check out a ninja movie. Ninja's Deadly Trap. It looks like it. It looks like it might be some fun loud smack fun yeah so I think that was like a dollar <laughs> uh, this one so it, look, it sounded pretty interesting Tommy Lee Jones is in this Linda Hamilton uh, black moon rising another star maker see the star maker some of them are yellow that land of far away is is like a blue and I kind of like the blue better I don't know <laughs> I don't know but uh, black moon rising cool cool stuff Let's see. Uh, this is uh, Dean Koontz's Black River Remote Controlled. I, w I always like seeing Dean Koontz movies too, and this one I've never heard of, so I'm going to check that one out. Let's see what else we got in here. Ah, that's right. I forgot about this one. It actually has a, a nice uh, case for it. I'm actually kind of warming up to these now. I don't know. Night of the Scarecrow. You got to love your Scarecrow movies, right? Night of the Scarecrow from, uh, what's it, Republic Pictures? I'm not taking the tapes out. Oh, yeah, is that the last one? Let me see. No, it's not. Uh, I got this one. He said, uh, Kyle recommended this one. He said he, like it's like one of his favorite, uh, like, I guess, slasher movies or whatever. Is that The Finishing Touch? I've never heard of it. I figured I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. Why not? You know, maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Uh, and this one here. Uh, fourth story, Murder Has a New Address, Mark Hammond and Mimi Rogers. Another Mimi Rogers movie that I got in, in the last day. Well, yesterday I got one. So, fourth story. And then the last one, just because, it, you know, you can't have enough Halloween um, additions. And this one is just awesome because it's a lenticular cover. And it, obviously it's Halloween, but check that out. That is just so freaking cool. Maybe I'll get enough lenticular covers that they'll have their own section. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? But uh, Halloween with the lenticular cover. Very cool. Restored Collector's Edition. Full frame. Ooh. <laughs>
but gay at the same time. I say ill because, but then it's like this is made for that, so it's okay. But then I think of like something nowadays watching on an old one, it doesn't really look right. But this is gonna look fantastic, you know. I think I, I shut up, Tony. Just shut the fuck up. Here, here. Halloween full frame. What if that was it? Halloween THX full frame. What if that was what it was called? Anyway, yeah, it's really cool. So uh, that's it. That's everything that's in here. Yep, that's everything. Um, it's a lot of stuff, so that's a lot of things. Now I have to move everything. If you notice in my videos, there's always like, not always, but usually there's different movies right here by me and up there because everything starts getting shifted down. This whole wall was only a VHS horror. There was only about two and a half rows, and now it's from the top to right here. Like, this is the last thing, and there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five rows. It, it's crazy. I'm running out. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room, but I like it. So, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you go check out Planet VHS Horror on Facebook. A uh, lot of cool people in there. It's more of a newer group, but uh, haven't had any problems with anybody in there at all. No douchebags, um, you know, that I know of. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a cool community um, to be part of. And uh, the fire sales are, are very addicting, I must say. <laughs> it's, uh, it's tough to not want at least one thing. But, you know, go check it out. I think you'll like it. And, uh, again, thanks, Kyle, for sending these out and uh, having having your fire sales and, and the other people on the group that have fire sales as well. Uh, you know, it's really cool. Maybe one day I'll have my own, but I doubt it. Uh, but that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Haramino, Twitch, all those places. But that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.